went through the press stage, man. Uh, the family was going out of town and stuff like that, and everybody was having fun, and I was just depressed. I didn't want to do anything with the family. Um, didn't want to spend any money. Uh, the family was like, oh, man, you got to, you know, you got to have a little bit of fun. I was like, no. I was a different fucking person. Got a call from my friend about this uh, combine. Went there. It was a scam. Came back home. My uh, parents kept on lashing at me. Look, either you're going to work or you're going to go to school. Community college or what? But you can't be living here if you ain't got no job. They wasn't selling it for the part-time jobs and stuff like that in the temp agencies. They wanted me to have a full-time job. Uh, because um, in this world, if you ain't got a job, then you're a worthless piece of shit. Um, so went there. I um, uh, was home and everything, just depressed. And I get a phone call from the, one of the guys from the combine. And he was like, hey, Reggie. Sorry that things didn't go good at the combine and everything like that, but um, we uh, noticed that you have some uh, highlights on YouTube, and I was like, yes, sir, I do. He was like, well, this is a uh, school in Oklahoma called Bay Cone. And I was like, oh, I heard of them. And he was like, yeah, man, they, they like what they're saying, and they want you to, they want to uh, give you a scholarship. And I was like, wow, for real? So uh, I told my parents and everything, and they did research, and they seen that it was good, and went off to... Uh, Went out to uh, Oklahoma in a few weeks. And it was funny because once that happened, their whole demeanor changed about me. It was like they were proud of me. They, uh, I felt loved again. Um, they were ha they were willing to hand me money when I needed it and shit like that. And uh, it was just funny because that's just how the world works. When you don't have anything, even if you work hard, work your ass off, it doesn't mean anything if you don't have it. But when you do, when you do earn something, when you do earn a scholarship and somebody wants you to play football, even though you work the same, you're working just as hard as you were when you had nothing, the whole world loves you again. And that's what really hurt me the most. And I was still in my depressed stage. And worked out a little bit and got ready for a camp up there in school. And I went to Oklahoma. On the show? On the show? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, the Charlie Charlie Challenge. Well, this this is the thing that I figured out. A, a lot, uh, yeah, a lot of people, I mean, trends are gonna come like every week, man, like that, uh, like that, uh, what's that guy, man? Uh, the one that was saying, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's something on Vine, this dude that was saying these nuts or something like that. Have you guys seen that? You guys never seen it? Yeah, like, see, see, like him. See, it was, it was him, and then it was the lip challenge, and now it's, it's now it's the Charlie thing, and it's like all these different trends, like, it's like they're just throwing them out there, so whoever catches on it first, that's how they're gonna build their fan base, that's how they're gonna become popular. Um, but that's just that's just how it is, man. I was I was talking to a lot of people yesterday, and we were just talking and discussing. Oh man, they come college. It starts from the top shelf. Went there, and um, uh, went there uh, during spring training. Um, went out there, new kid on campus. It's uh, it's kind of like a hood school, you know. Uh, but it was still uh, a lot of people looked at this as like a rebound school, like a school where if you mess up, they put you here, and it helps you get noticed by other colleges. It was an NAIA school, um, Muskogee, Oklahoma. Uh, went there, uh, met one of my other best friends to this day. His name is uh, Daryl, Daryl Harmon. Uh, great kid, um, phenomenal football player. <sighs> I went there to uh, play uh, quarterback. I went out there for quarterback. Man, what I'm talking about, I did so bad. 
you know, um, it was one thing when a university married. I did bad, but everybody was like, oh, okay, he's the black kid, nobody cares. But here, it's like, you do bad, everybody shits on you, man, especially at the quarterback position. You throw one bad pass, the world is ended. It's all over. Um, and that's what I notice about most black schools and black teams. Um, there's a lot of, there's not a lot of camaraderie. Um, we, as black individuals, have a different way of speaking each other, you know, speaking our minds, and I've always looked at it, that there's a better way to present something. But every time I mention that, somebody would call me a bitch or uh, a feminine or some shit like that. You can't be like that in football. You gotta be aggressive, you gotta be tough. You gotta be, you know, you, you, you gotta be hard ass, you know. So I went there, every meeting after practice, I got shitted on. Coaches, players, you know, Reggie, oh, here comes the mess up. Let's see what Reggie, how met, bad Reggie did today. These are coaches and talking and the players are just laughing, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, some of the guys that I thought were cool with me, they started laughing. So, um, you know, throughout the whole process of my first semester, just went there and it was just shitty. My grades were great, but um, it was just terrible, man. Uh, nobody liked me. Um, again, um, I really didn't talk that much to nobody, uh, but I was always the main target as far as when people wanted to take their frustration out on me. I was that guy, and I and, and that's what happened. Um, went there, man, and uh, did good with my grades and before uh, I left to go home for the summer. Um, they gave me the same scholarship that I went in there with, and they were telling me, man, you got to get better in order to, uh, to compete to want to stay here, to want to get a higher scholarship. And I was like, yes, sir, I'll come back and I'll be better than ever. 